As our nation stands divided over immigration topics, a group of grandmothers are showing compassion toward migrants being let out of detention centers, traveling up north to their sponsors. Paulina Butska spoke to these women about their mission. What can you tell us, Paulina? Well, Lisa, these grandmothers are truly remarkable. They are calling their work the Overground Railroad. They connect with these migrants as they're getting off the Greyhound buses, with many of them not having shoelaces, belts, or even diapers for their children. At first, it was a running joke for Sharon and Beth. When we first started this operation, it was three Presbyterian women and an 89-year-old priest. Their four-person mission has grown in numbers exponentially, totaling upwards of 200 volunteers since last year, when these two had a real moral crisis on how they can help families. Mothers, fathers, and children separated at the U.S.-Mexico border. Sharon and I were just going crazy. What can we do? We've got to do something. Let's go down to the border and just see what we can do. And then we discovered that there was a whole group of grannies who were going down to the border. Having seen the conditions migrants are released in, they decided that they can help in a very simple way. We'll get a text that says so, so and so's uh, coming without any shoes. Can you, can you get a pair of shoes together? Or in the winter time, can you get a jacket together? Greetings in Spanish. Snack bags. Snack kits are donated by churches. We give this to them and they look at it and they run to the bathroom and brush their teeth. They have been dying to brush their teeth because they don't get these in detention. At the end of August, these two, along with their Abuelita volunteers, will have serviced 12,000 migrants getting off Greyhound buses here in Louisville. Some making this their permanent destination. Others just transferring to another bus to another city, probably following days of travel from the border. The, the people that are being released from the detention center have already met the criteria for having a potentially valid asylum claim. Or they wouldn't be out. They wouldn't be out. They would be being returned. Well, for the migrants, it is still a very long road. They have court dates that they must appear for in order to follow the immigration process for legalization. But these grandmas and their volunteers, who aren't all grandmas, I should add, are out there seven days a week, meeting two buses a day with at least three volunteers to greet these migrants before they're on to their next destination. Lisa?